Hyper parathyroidism. Hyper parathyroidism. Parathyroid gland produces excess of parathorm, right? So there is a mnemonic as well for it. Bones, stones, groans, psych mons, right? So the patient can have tiredness. That's the main thing. Now the bony pains, that's about the meaning of the bone. So bony pains, stones, meaning renal stones. And then groans, abdominal pain, abdominal groans, and uh, patient can have constipation and the psychiatry symptoms, psychiatric modes. So that's why the mnemonic is bone stones, groans, psychiatric modes. All right. The thing is, whenever you get a case of hyperparathyroidism, so what we have to do, these patients are prone to have dehydration. So you have to be very, very careful here because of calcium, right? So because of this thing, so dehydration need to rule out. We have to rule out properly, ask questions for dehydration. Uh, patient might have CKD, so leg swelling and all you can ask. And multiple myeloma, the thing is in multiple myeloma, that's a cancer. And usually you will see the patient has got hyperparathyroidism, hypercalcemia sign symptoms. That is what you cannot see. And because of hyperviscosity of the blood, what you will have, you may have the blurring of the vision as well, right? So shortness of breath, blurring of vision, that is something that you can ask. Dehydration, that is the must thing that you need to rule it out. So the reason could be, I mean, I have hypertension, diabetes that is going to ask. But sometimes, you know, you'll see patient is taking uh, calcium supplements as well. So that could be the reason there, right? So that is one of the risk factors, I would say. That is uh, uh, what you have to uh, mention. Uh, so, uh, what you need to do is, uh, uh, psychosocial history. That is really important. General physical examination. We'll do vitals as well. We'll do, uh, abdominal examination and, uh, parietal examination. If there is constipation, it depends. I mean, yeah, full blood count, thyroid function test, uh, uh, UNEs we can do. What is the treatment? So the treatment is number one is the fluids. That is something that you need to give to the patient. Fluids, fluids, fluids. That is what you have to mention because as I said, it is going to, patient is going to be prone for dehydration. So IV fluids is going to be one of the main thing. We have to give bisphosphonates as well to these patients. That's going to be quite helpful. Uh, as I said, because of hypercalcemia. So bisphosphonates is going to be quite helpful. Surgery can be done as well. Uh, you have to remove the gland. Uh, if the patient is not fit for surgery, then we will be giving this medication, uh, Sinacalcet. That is quite helpful as well, right? And uh, follow-up and warning sign, that is really, really important. Follow-up, follow-up, warning sign. Warning sign you can give for uh, dehydration and you can give warning sign for bisphosphonates as well because uh, bisphosphonates, how to take it? You have to take it like empty stomach with one glass of water and you don't lie down for at least half an hour. Also, bisphosphonates can cause jaw necrosis as well. So that is something that you can mention. All right. Again, how long it's going to take better? It can take some time. Is it treatable? It's a manageable condition. I can see you are concerned, but we can definitely, definitely manage it, right? So what you need to remember here is bone stones, grown psych moans. So these are the things that you will see. Patient might have like... Uh, uh, hypercalcemia symptoms, rule out multiple myeloma. That is the, these are the things, I mean, you have to do in this uh, hyperparathyroidism. All right. Mm -hmm.